adventure starts now. Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another edition of the Gentleman's Corner. And for this week, I have for you my first competitor in Season 2 of C3, which if you don't know what that is, I'll put links in the description, but it is Adventure Starts Now. How are you doing today? I'm doing quite well. How about you, Carlos? I'm doing excellent. So, um, I will jump right into this, and I will ask you the same question I ask every single person, which is, who or what inspired you to YouTube, and why? I prepared for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was back in the days, a long, long time ago, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it was a dark time. Um, but I, I had a bunch of friends, and we used to play a lot of Modern Warfare 3. And during that summer, you know, I just played it a lot. I played a lot of Modern Warfare 3. And then people started saying to me in lobbies and stuff like, you're really, really good. Um, you should start making videos. And I was like, people make videos? I didn't know this was a thing. So, uh, of course, I went on and I found a bunch of channels, but the one I mainly found was Next Gen Tactics. I don't know if you know them. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I found them, and then, like, I just kind of got interested in it, and then I started making videos with the awful, awful iPhone camera. <laughs> you know how it is when you first start off, and then I got money into it. Um, and then, over the summer, Black Ops 2, Elgato, and here we are. Now, um, are you, you're mostly PC gamer, but you do have consoles too, correct? Yes, uh, I've converted recently to the PC Master Race. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just feel like PC is a little bit... I don't know, it just feels better. I mean, I tried playing Black Ops 2 on my PS3 there a couple of days ago, and it just felt wrong holding a controller again. Right. Can't explain it. It was, um... But yes, PC all the way. You have yeah. a PC too, I believe? I, I do. Um, I have a accidental gaming laptop, so... <laughs> I'm able I to. Heard this story. I'm able to somewhat <laughs> play games on my on my laptop. Um, in terms of PC gaming, so Titanfall. Are, are you oh, looking forward to Titanfall. to the full version of Titanfall here coming up soon? I cannot wait. <laughs> um, I have 600 odd gigabytes of gameplay that I have to put up. So um, you know, you just sat down one night and it was kind of like the first time I played Call of Duty again. You know that feeling? You just sat down and you just and didn't you stop. Just, you sat at the screen. For hours upon end, just playing and just learning and trying new things. It was it was a great feeling. Now, uh, in terms of consoles, so there's there's a lot of games that come out for consoles that don't make it to PC. Not always, mm -hmm. but there are some. Do you, do you think at some point in the future you might be enticed to get one of the next gen systems? Well, I guess which are now current gen systems. If a game comes out that you really want, that's not available on PC. Yeah, I would say I would be getting... I am I plan on getting a PS4, but the thing was, I was just thinking, there's not really any point to get one right now when the only things that are out for are, like, Battlefield and, like, Ghosts. And I kind of have Battlefield and Ghosts already. Right. So I don't really see the point in getting it to play it again. Um, I feel like maybe this time next year I will have one because, you know, Destiny's coming out. Um, right. Destiny's going to be amazing. The Watch Dogs, I mean... It's just at the moment, I don't think there's any really big games that are out for the systems. I mean, Titanfall will be it for Xbox One, but <laughs> I'm not an Xbox guy. Right. Um, I'd say definitely because I don't want... Like, I feel I would want to feel like people did when The Last of Us came out. You know, when everybody was kind of just like... All the Xbox users were just nearly crying in corn. It's just like, <laughs> I want The Last of Us! <laughs> um, it never even came out for PC either, did it? It's, it was exclusive. No, it was... It was a um, Naughty Dog. So yeah. People make Charted. So, no, I think they have a deal going on. But um, that John Charted was the main reason I actually got a PS3 in the first place. Cause Naughty Dog is great. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't even realize that their first game was Crash Bandicoot. I never, I never even played that game. Oh, have you not? No. You, no. you can get it pretty cheap on the um, PlayStation Store. It was like five, five euro last time I checked. It was like four, like five dollars as well. And yeah. um, I, I just, you know, bring the PSP everywhere. Just play Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Those were the days. I don't. I, I don't. I don't even understand. Like, I, it's. I guess it's like a kind of like a back to forward scroller kind of like. I don't know. It. I, I saw some streams from Loyal Patriot. He was playing Crash Bandicoot. So. Um. So in terms of YouTube and your channel, yes. Is there is there a place that you would want to be? Let's say in a year from now. A year from now, I just feel like the thing that I think all of us want, and I think you've accomplished it now, is 
kind of to have more viewers than other YouTubers watching you, where right. they're here for you and they're not here just to support you, like you because you're supporting them and you're they're supporting you, just to kind of have like a group of people that was kind of like hanging out, like kind of like if you had a bunch of friends and they all just you're sharing those moments. So I'd say I just want to get to I'd say I just want like a bigger audience that people will interact with because. Right. <laughs> Come on, everybody does it for the comments and just talking to people now, in the comment section. So there's something interesting. There's like this there's like this peak, so to speak. And, and this is something strange where when you're first starting out, you want to try and get, you know, subs so that you can so people can see your stuff. Yeah. And it seems like most people, when they first start out, they, they get subs that are other YouTubers because you try and collaborate and work with other people. Yeah. And at some point you hit this this scale where your subscribers are actually regular people more than the other YouTubers that you work with. And at that point, it starts to get kind of difficult. I haven't hit there yet, by the way. <laughs> it, it gets kind of difficult to answer all of the comments and answer all of the interactions or, or excuse me, have all those interactions. You know, how do you, how do you plan to balance that? Or how do you want to try and balance that? Um, honestly, like, I would try to get to as many of them as I can <laughs> I'd love to get to all of them but um, I feel like I'd have to have those times where you just sit down sit down for an hour or so and just get through all of them like a batch reply but um, I don't think that like not, even though it's a batch reply I don't think it's like saying like just to reply I feel like even now if someone comments on a video it's like it's still the same feeling from when I first uploaded and people started commenting and I was right. just like oh my god people watch this I, I feel sorry for you watching this but thank you um i feel like i'll try to do it as much as i can and hopefully i will be able to do, get to all of them but um i suppose it does get to the point where you kind of can't reply to all of them and i suppose you just kind of have to shorten the answers for some of them i guess because <laughs> at the moment <laughs> Because at the moment, if someone replied, I'd, I'd feel like, oh, I'm going to write a damn essay for this guy. Thank right, you for commenting, right. you know? But um, I feel like the more people that are commenting, I feel like they might get a little bit shorter every time. Hopefully right. not, though. You know? Hopefully no, not. It, it's it's a tough balance. Like, even even right now, because like if I'm at work or something like that, and like three or four, I, I want to try and get to those messages as soon as possible. Yeah. I, think, I think you're the same way. And sometimes it gets tough. So, uh, mm. in terms of games what what games do you think are really fun to record that you would want to start to do where where you have interactions with other people um not to sound like like the most common ones but gary's mod is quite good mm -hmm. um because that's just like a bunch of different game modes but i um so it's like gary's mod um left 4 dead 2 and all those i just feel like they're really friend like fun heavy which i really like right to Call of Duty, which is, like, even though there were the odd fun moments, it was because something went wrong. And it wasn't really focused on fun. I feel like if if people wanted to play games that were just outright silly and hilarious, then it would be Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row. Those right. would be the games that you would have the most fun playing, I think. Just for, like, the what is going on here kind of feeling. Sure. Do you, uh, uh do you think that so there's that internal battle that a lot of smaller YouTubers have where they're like, you know, I want to post videos that people will watch, but sometimes it's not the funnest games to be like. A lot of people are still posting Ghost because it's Call of Duty. Yeah. But, you know, do you, do you feel that, do you have that pressure sometimes to post something because you're like, ah, I, I want to try and get views? Um, no, not really, because I feel like, why would you upload something that you're not having fun uploading? Because it'd be blatantly obvious that you're not having fun if you're just uploading it to try and get like viewers but there is that kind of struggle like do you want to just get viewers to start off and then do it but if you do that what if they don't what if they don't want to watch the other stuff <laughs> right. they came here for so it's kind of like a balance like maybe do a bit of both maybe do mostly fun stuff that you like and then maybe like once every what every while give them the video you started off with sure. um but for me, I just feel like I would only upload what I want to because I don't think I'd upload something that I didn't want to because it's not fun. Right. Um. Yeah. How, how did you How did you get your your name, your gamer tag? Your Adventure YouTube starts name? now. Yes. Yes. 
Honestly, I just felt like, well, first of all, I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> um, but honestly, I think it was like, because with the start of my channel, it was around the time I started getting really, really tired of Call of Duty. And I wanted it to be really kind of channel where people could just come in and relax. And I thought it would be like, my thing would be like, well, you know, you can just, you can come in anytime you want. It's not like one of those channels where you like, people know them forever. I wanted it to be one of those channels where you can come in straight away and just watch and have fun. Because I felt like it was a real kind of name to go with the thing I wanted, which was, you know, people just coming in and just watching for fun. Right. Right to that. And I was like, I don't know. I suppose it was a lot better than the previous ones that I, I was thinking of, you know. No XX360 sniper quickscope, XX69. <laughs> you know, you don't want that. Right. Um, and I feel like I wanted to keep numbers out of it too, because we all know just numbers never work out for when you're going to search for someone. I was like, is it a six or a no what, what, what number was it again? It's just, or there's too many numbers, and I just wanted to keep it kind of simple. Adventure starts now. Okay. So our our time is running down now here a little bit. Is there is there anything you want to say to anybody who's watching this? Um, just want to say that me and Carlos were in C3 together, and I feel like if you haven't applied to C3 season three yet, you should definitely try it because if it wasn't for C3, I never would have met, a, met Carlos or a bunch of other people. And um, I think it's just like an amazing thing that happened. Uh, you meet a lot of great people doing it. Uh, absolutely. If for, for any of my new subscribers, if you don't know what C3 is, if you have a YouTube channel and you're a commentator, I'll put a link in the description. It's a commentator challenge. It's very friendly. There are prizes. In fact, um, a couple of very good prizes, like a controller from Nifty Mods, and that's correct. A video on Apocalypse's channel. You should know who he is. He was on last week. That's correct. <laughs> so um, give it a shot if you don't, and you know if you if you don't have a YouTube channel but you want to see some really really good videos and some entertaining content, once it goes live, check it out. I'll put a link to Serial Assassin's channel who's hosting the tournament as well. Um, well, adventure starts now. That's her long name to stay. <laughs> a long name to stay. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's it's okay. a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? That's, I'll just say, so, Adventure, um, yep. thank you cool. thank you for spending some time with me tonight to do this. Thank you for and, having um, me. No, no, absolutely. I appreciate it. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.